Welcome everyone. I pray that you I pray that you are doing well and that everything is going phenomenal. I'm so excited to be uh, with you tonight. I know we're going to get started here in just a few moments. Apostle should be joining you, but I'm really, really excited about everything that's going to happen tonight. I'm believing God for a great impartation of something phenomenal in your life. I know that God's going to bless you and increase you and multiply you and cause his grace and his favor to be over you. So as we believe God tonight for just the ministry of deliverance, this is just something that we did as we were believing God for something supernatural to happen in our lives. Sometimes we can get discouraged, tired, weary. We can get so frustrated. We can just feel like we're out of balance. We feel like we're Something uh, is not right. Something is not good with me. Maybe I need a, a reset. I kind of look at the uh, uh, at a deliverance session, kind of like a car goes through a tune-up. That every every thirty thousand miles, you gotta go get your oil changed. But tonight, you should consider this time your oil change. That you're gonna receive uh, an impartation of something. That something is gonna leave you. Something is gonna come out of you, and something fresh is going to be imparted unto you. Apostle is going to come in just a few moments. I do want to encourage you to stay all the way through till tonight, um, even till the end. Uh, we have some special things that we want to let you know that we'll be doing. And so don't uh, don't miss out on something that we're going to announce. Um, I want to uh, bring Apostle on in just a second. So I will be right back. Okay, Apostle, you are good. Uh, whenever you want to get started, feel free. I'll get out of your way, but if you need anything, I'll be on standby. Okay, am I coming in clear? Yes, we can hear you great. All right, thank you so much, Rodrigo. Thank all of those who are coming on and a part of this mass deliverance that we're going to be doing tonight. It's not going to be very complex. I'm going to do some preliminaries and some renunciations and some prayers and prepare you to receive deliverance and then i'm going to authority god has given every one of us as believers based on mark 16 in my name shall they cast out devils or demons and um in mark 5 jesus said what is thy name we're going to identify these spirits call them by name cover a lot of different areas and the mass deliverance is something that we've done for Probably now, we're well, almost 30 years now, we've been doing mass deliverances, and it's a way for everyone to get help. I would encourage everyone to go through um, individual deliverance, have someone pray for you individually if you need that. But mass deliverance is a way that we can pray for people all over and um, do a general prayer, a general cleansing, and, and you can get a lot of help and a lot of deliverance this way. It doesn't negate the fact that you may still need some personal ministry, uh, but it is an effective way to minister deliverance to a large number of people at the same time. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, before I start, I do want to recommend if you really want to study more and understand more on the subject of deliverance to get a copy of my book, uh, The Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual. Um, it is very comprehensive, covers a lot of different areas. How do you know if you need deliverance, how to receive deliverance? Uh, different kinds of spirits, how demons enter, um, how to how to break strongholds. A lot of teaching in this book. It's quite comprehensive. It's called the Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual. And um, you can get that at Amazon.com or you can get it at um, ChristianBook.com. Another good book I would recommend is called Destroying the Spirit of Rejection, which is a Common spirit, we're going to deal with that tonight as well. It's really a door opener to a lot of problems. So this is a very comprehensive book, too, on the need for deliverance. Often 
uh, from the spirit of rejection. I'm looking for one more book. Here it is. Uh, this one is called Break Every Chain, uh, 25 Strongholds and How to Defeat Them. So it goes into some of the uh, some of the major strongholds that people deal with, rejection, rebellion, pride, lust, specific areas where a lot of people struggle and may need deliverance in. So I recommend those books. Again, Break Every Chain. Uh, that's a newer book, uh, Destroying the Spirit of Rejection, Comprehensive Book on Rejection, and uh, the book Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual. Those are three books that I've written specifically uh, on the subjects of deliverance. And um, before we start, um, in our mass deliverance services, we, we'd often um, tell people the things that can prevent or hinder a person from receiving deliverance. Um, of course, unrepentant sin, someone living a lifestyle of sin that is not repentant and turned away from sin can give demons a stronghold. Uh, a major problem is unforgiveness. Those who've been hurt, wounded, abused, taken advantage of by people, and they have a hard time forgiving people, um, releasing people, not forgiving people can be another problem um, that hinders deliverance. Even things like unbelief and doubt. Uh, Jesus could do no mighty miracle in his hometown because of their unbelief. So sometimes people just struggle in their faith, believing, does God want to deliver me? Is deliverance for me? Will God deliver me? I don't know, you know, the struggles I've gone through. Can God do this for me? Well, with God, all things are possible. No matter what you've been struggling with, no matter how long it's been there, even if you've been dealing with it from a child, from childhood, uh, nothing is impossible with God. And deliverance is a miracle ministry. And so we're going to believe God tonight. First of all, God loves you. God wants you free. God forgives you. Uh, God cleanses you. Uh, God has redeemed you. Jesus has redeemed you. There's deliverance. There's power in the name of Jesus. And, and also Mar Matthew 12 and 28 says, if I, by the spirit of God, cast out devils. So we do this by the spirit of God and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's not something we do in our own power. It's the spirit of God enabling us to minister to people, set people free um, by the power. And so remember, deliverance is also the children's bread. It belongs to the children of God. Now, uh, Colossians 1.13 says that Christ, uh, we've been delivered and, and translated into the kingdom of God's son. So as far as God is concerned, you're already delivered legally in the spirit realm. But sometimes you've not experienced that. And so we want to make sure that it's in force. What Jesus paid for on the cross is in force in your life against every demon. There are primarily five or six areas where demons will try to uh, control in a person's life. Remember now, if you're born again, your spirit is a part of you that's born again. That which is born of spirit is spirit. So the demons cannot dwell in your spirit. That's how people get confused saying, well, how can a Christian need deliverance? Well, your spirit is not born, is born again. Remember, Jesus went into the temple and drove out the thieves. Thieves represent demons. They were not in the Holy of Holies. That's your spirit. They were not even in the holy place. That is that, that that was another area of the temple, but they were in the outer area. In the temple, nonetheless, there's spirit, soul, and body. Your spirit is the candle of the Lord. It's a place where the spirit of God dwells. But your soulish area, your mind, your will, your emotions are places where demons will dwell in torment. Then, of course, your physical body, spirits of infirmity, sickness, tiredness, things that affect your physical body, even spirits of lust can dwell in your fleshly area. Um, and so we're gonna deal with those things in your mind, uh, things in the emotional area, emotional problems, confusion, mental attacks in the mind, uh, the tongue, uh, spirits operating through the speech, cursing, profanity, lying, gossip, um, demons of lust operating in the sexual character of a person is a common area as well. Um, these, are, these are common areas where demons operate and dwell in in a believer's life. So we're going to we're going to deal with all of these areas, even different parts of the body. We're going to cover different areas of the body where demons can dwell, um, different organs of the body, stomach area, chest area, back area, spine area, uh, the glands, the circulatory system. It's amazing 
how demons can operate in certain parts of the body. And we have a whole book on, on dealing with blessing from head to toe that we um, also recommend that you get. Uh, and so we're going to deal with that. Before we do, I want to pray with you. And uh, we can just pray some prayers together. One of the most powerful and effective ways of getting deliverance is by renouncing the enemy. When you begin to renounce the enemy uh, in your life, you're going to find out that through renunciation, you're taking away the right the enemy has in your life. You're renouncing him. You're exercising your will against him. So we're going to renounce these spirits with our mouths. Remember the scripture says, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation or confession is made unto deliverance. A lot of deliverance takes place by your confession, your decree, and your mouth, your renunciation, whether it's repentance from sin, whether it's renouncing certain things. We're going we're gonna to renounce these things. Um, and um, I, want to, I want to encourage you to pray along with me and uh, renounce uh, these particular things. We're going to renounce any unforgiveness, anyone that has hurt you, abused you, taken advantage of you, rejected you, mistreated you, and you've not forgiven them. You must operate in forgiveness if you want to be delivered. Matthew 18 says that when the person did not forgive, he was turned over to the tormentors. Tormentors represent demons. So we don't want to be tormented by demons because of unforgiveness. Even if you don't feel like doing it, do it by faith. Uh, I believe forgiveness is an act of your will. Do it by faith. We're going to renounce any sexual sin, um, any sins of, of, of the mind, of the speech. Uh, we're going to renounce unforgiveness, bitterness, repent of any sin in our lives, and um, break any powers of darkness operating in our lives. And as you do this, you're clearing the way to receive deliverance that by the time we start praying, uh, will it'll be easier to command these things to leave you and you'll find yourself getting freedom. So let's pray together. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. My sins have been forgiven. I repent of any sin, knowingly or unknowingly, in my life. Any sin that has opened the door for the enemy to come into my life, I ask you to forgive me cleanse me, wash me through your blood. Lord, I renounce all unforgiveness, all bitterness, all resentment, all anger that I have against any person who has hurt me, abused me, rejected me, taken advantage of me, mistreated me in any way. I forgive them, Father, and I bless them. And Lord, I ask you to forgive me for any unforgiveness I've held in my heart towards any person. Now, as you sit there, if someone comes to your mind that you need to forgive, I want you to do that. It could even be someone, your parents, loved ones, family members, former lovers, relationships, children, ex-husbands, wives, authority figures, pastors, people on the job, employment. I want you to forgive the, those people now. And as you do, we just loose ourselves from all unforgiveness, all resentment, all anger, all bitterness toward any person. Lord, I thank you that as I forgive them, you forgive me. And I loose myself. I renounce it. I turn away from it. Lord, I renounce all sexual sin that I've allowed in my life, all lust all perversion, all sexual impurity, all uncleanness, whether it's fornication, adultery, perversion, anything, Lord, pornography, masturbation, uncleanness, anything, Lord, that is sinful in the sexual character, I renounce it tonight. I renounce any witchcraft, any occultism, any divination that I've ever been involved in. I renounce it. Forgive me, Lord, for putting other gods before you and seeking other gods other than you. I renounce it and turn away from it in the name of Jesus. I renounce all anger, hatred, malice, strife, gossiping, backbiting, lying, deception, 
I renounce it in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that as I renounce, I renounce the devil. I renounce darkness. I renounce demons. I renounce them in the name of Jesus. I take authority over them. And I do not want you in my life. And tonight you will leave. You cannot stay. I am a child of God. I've accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I belong to God. I am God's property. I do not belong to you. Therefore, you have no right to be in my life and you must leave. I don't want you and exercise my will against you. And I renounce you and all of your works, all the works of darkness, all the works of sin, all the works of Satan and demons. I renounce tonight and I loose myself from all the powers of hell and all the powers of darkness in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord, tonight by faith, by faith, by faith, I believe God. I believe you, God. I believe you love me. I believe you've forgiven me. I believe you are my deliverer. I believe that you are my savior. I believe that you are my redeemer. I believe that you are my healer. I release my faith. I exercise my faith tonight for healing and deliverance. And I confess with thy mouth that tonight I will be delivered. I announce any spirit that's hiding in my life. I pray for the light of God to shine and to expose anything that's operating in my life, even if I'm not aware of it. Thank you, Lord, for your power and your grace and your blessing that is coming tonight. I release these things. I let them go by faith. I do not hold on to them, but I renounce them and command them to leave my life in Jesus' name. Amen. I renounce anything the enemy has, any legal right in my life that has opened the door for the enemy, known or unknown. I renounce it. Any pledges, any vows that I made or others have made over me, I break and renounce them. Any words spoken over my life I command, that are negative and uh, of the devil, I command the break off of my life and to fall to the ground. No power over my life. Any curses, I break. Any curses that have come out of my mouth or out of the mouths of others that affect my life, I break these curses in the name of Jesus. I believe that Jesus became a curse for me. I am not cursed. I am blessed. I am healed and I'm delivered by faith in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now you have prayed. I prayed. We've renounced. Most spirits that come out, come out through the breathing passages. If you feel something coming out, you need to get a paper towel or something. No problem. Do that. The word spirit in the Bible is the word, same as the word for breath, pneuma, spirit, breath, air, wind. So many demons can come out through coughing. Sometimes people feel like they're choking. Sometimes they come out through crying. Um, sometimes they come out through screaming. We're not encouraging that. But uh, sometimes we tell people when they're getting prayer to just take a deep breath if they feel something stirring and let it go. Believe God and let it go. And if you need something to cough into or whatever, don't hesitate to get that. And um, you may have to blow your nose or something. And uh, you may even yawn. I've even seen people get delivered through yawning. So don't underestimate the power of deliverance. Doesn't mean that you have to manifest loud or strong to get deliverance. I've seen people manifest strong and don't get anything. I've seen others go through a pretty much quiet deliverance, it seems, but get a lot of help and a lot of deliverance. So I'm going to begin to call these spirits out by name. There's certain areas I'm going to cover. I pretty much know the different areas that, you know, demons dwell in. And um, as I command these things to go, you don't have to pray with me. You receive. Let me command. We're finished praying. Now we're commanding. You just receive. You don't have to pray in tongues. You know, don't be religious. Have to pray in tongues. Just receive. Let me command and you receive as I call these things out. 
and call them by their name. First, I bind the works of darkness. I bind every strong man, every ruling spirit that may operate and control the demons in a person, every ruling spirit over every demon grouping that has demons operating under him. I bind you. I separate demons that would strengthen each other and fortify each other. And I break you apart. I pull apart rejection from rebellion, especially in the area of schizophrenia and double mindedness. I separate them. I pull them apart in the name of Jesus. I take authority over you, Satan, and your demons. And I, I as I call your name or your family name, you, you cannot hide. You must manifest and you must go. You must leave tonight. You must come out. I, I speak in the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name. I command you to go in that name. And by the power of the Holy Spirit in me and by the authority God has given me as a believer to cast you out, I release, I release that authority and I command you to obey. I put you under my feet where you belong. I tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me. I exercise my faith and I believe God for the numbers of people that are watching tonight that they'll receive their deliverance and they'll receive their miracle. I agree with them by faith that tonight is their night of deliverance. I bind the spirits of rejection and rebellion in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of double-mindedness and I come against demons of rejection. And I command you to begin to manifest and begin to come out. All spirits of rejection, rejection from mother, rejection from father, rejection in the family, societal rejection, rejection from a child, childhood rejection. I command you to go. Rejection from the womb. I command you to manifest and come out. Leave now. Leave now. Come out in Jesus' name. I come against the demons of self-rejection and even fear of rejection that work with rejection. I command you to go in Jesus' name. Leave now. Leave now. Come out now. I come against demons of insecurity, inferiority, and low self-esteem that make them feel like they're not valuable, make them feel like they're nobody. Demons that beat them down, make them feel ashamed. I come against the demons of shame, embarrassment. Come out. Leave now in Jesus' name. Go. I command the spirits of lust that work with rejection to come out. Come out the sexual character. Come out the fleshly areas, the body, spirits of lust, spirits of perversion, uncleanness, homosexuality, lesbianism. I command demons of masturbation, pornography, uncleanness, adultery, fornication, rape, molestation. Any woman that's been raped, any young man that's been raped or molested, I command demons of molestation and rape to come out and shame that's connected with those demons to go. Fear of being raped, fear of being molested, come out. I come against spirits of harlotry and whoredom that are connected with idolatry. I command you to come out in Jesus' name. I command the demons of lust that came in in childhood, that came through rejection. I command you to go. They came in through sexual encounters. I command you to leave. Demons of prostitution, come out. Frigidity, demons that block the sexual character. I command you to go. Spirits of perversion, uncleanness, I command you to manifest and leave in Jesus' name. I come against every spirit of sin that's operating behind impurity. Spirits of backsliding, come out. Demons that drive them the backslide, that drive them the sin, that drive them away from God and away from the church. That's right. I command you to go. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Spirits of guilt, shame, and condemnation that are connected to lust. Spirits of failure. You fail. You fall in sin, sexual sin all the time. Demons that tempt you and drive you and Demons that torment you and attack your mind. I come against spirits of mind control and demons that drive your mind with lust and perversion. I command demons of confusion in the mind to come out. Come out the head, the forehead, 
the science of the head, the back of the head. I command spirits of mind control and demons of mind binding, mind racing, confusion, insanity, madness to leave now. Evil thinking, lustful thinking, come out. Come out of the mind in Jesus' name. Demons of forgetfulness, senility, Alzheimer's, leave now. Demons causing migraine headaches and torment that attack the mind. I command to go. Restlessness in the mind. Fear that operates in the mind. Manifest and go now in Jesus' name. I come against every squid spirit, every octopus spirit with the tentacles that wrap around the mind. I break and cut and sever those tentacles and command them to break off of your mind. Demons that prevent you from learning, demons that block you from learning, demons that block you from remembering, demons that block you from studying and remembering the Bible, I command to go in Jesus' name. I come against spirits of fear, all kinds of fear, fear, apprehension, torment, come out, terror, panic, sudden fear, anxiety attacks, mental breakdown, nervous breakdown, Fear, fear of dying, fear of being abandoned, fear of being alone, fear of man, fear of authority, fear of the pastor, fear of preachers, fear of witchcraft, fear of rejection, fear of being raped, fear of being molested, fear of being left alone, fear of being laughed at, fear of people, fear of speaking, fear of accidents, fear of snakes and animals, fear of car accidents, fear of premature death. I command you to manifest and go. In Jesus' name, come out, loose, and go. All you demons of fear, come out now. Shaking fear, trembling, leave now. Fear of making a mistake, fear of the future, fear of falling, fear of hell, fear of backsliding, fear of witches and witchcraft, fear of curses, fear of sorcery, fear of divination, leave now. Fear of the evil eye, leave now. In Jesus' name, fear of trusting people, come out of there. Come out, fear of marrying the wrong people, fear of getting married, leave now. All you demons of fear, that's right, go. Uh, take a deep breath and let them go, people. Let them go. We have a lot more to cover. Let them go now. I come against the demons of depression that come in through rejection. Demons of loneliness, sadness, crying, grief, heart attack, heartbreak brokenhearted, wounded spirits. I command the spirit of hurt, hurt from people, hurt from loved ones, spirits of betrayal, hurt by friends, hurt by churches. I command the spirit of church hurt to come out, hurt by pastors, leave now, hurt by former relationships, former husbands or wives, hurt by children, come out of there, deep hurt, wounded spirit, broken heart, come out, leave now in Jesus' name. All the spirits of sadness, crying, grief, griefed over lost loved ones, griefed over someone dying, come out now. Sadness and grief, no joy, leave now. Go. Spirits of isolation, loneliness, depression, frustration, nervousness, tension, worry, anxiety, come out. Come out. As I call you by your name or your family name, I command you to go. Spirits of worry, anxiety, tension, nervousness, leave now, heavy burdens, stress, come out of there. Come out the back, the shoulders, the spine, nervousness, fear in the stomach area, lust in the stomach area, the abdomen area, fear spirits and locust spirits and serpentine spirits, come out now. Scorpion spirits, leave now in the name of Jesus. I command demons of vanity, pride, ego to come out, arrogance, haughtiness, self-exaltation, self-promotion, leave now, go, go, leave now, come out in the name of Jesus. I call you by your name and your family name, and I command you to manifest and go. I command you to leave. I command all spirits of suicide, death by suicide, wanting to commit suicide, come out of there, come out of there. Leave in Jesus' name. Come out of any area of the body where you're hiding. Go, go. 
leave now. I come in spirits of infirmity, sickness that came in through worry, stress, that came in through sin and rebellion, spirits of sickness, infirmity, disease, infection, demons that cause chronic sickness, always sick, demons behind heart attacks and strokes, lupus, come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Go, go. Multiple sclerosis, come out. Pain, stomach pain, nervous pain, pain in the, in the heart, spirits affecting the heart, angina, heart attack, get out of there, stroke, get out of there. Demons behind high blood pressure and diabetes in the pancreas, the liver, the kidney, the organs of the body, the spleen, the heart, the chest, the lungs, spirits of cancer, tumors, get out, go. Death by cancer, come out. Termination, demons that want to terminate your life. I come in at premature death and the demons of death come out. Death that came through trauma, through accidents. I command to leave in Jesus' name, fear of death and dying. Premature death and dying. Come out, go, leave in Jesus' name. I command demons that cause blood problems in the, in the bloodstream, the circulatory system, demons in the skeletal system, arthritis, rheumatism, pain in the bones, demons operating in the bones, I command to go. Demons in the muscular system, I command to come out. Demons in the glands, the glandular system that attack the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, come out of there in Jesus' name. Wherever you're hiding in the body, I command you to come out the systems of the body, nervous system, glandular system, muscular system, skeletal system. I command to go. Demons operating in the spinal area, operating up and down the spine, kundalini. I command to unwind and come out in Jesus' name. I command you to go. I come against spirits of witchcraft, divination, sorcery, occultism, third eye. Come out. Come out. Psychic spirits. Go. Leave. I command the religious demons to go. Demons that were picked up in churches, legalism, religion, bondage, condemnation, shame, guilt. Come out. Go. I command you to leave. I command you to manifest and come out now in the name of Jesus. Spirits of legalism, self-righteousness, condemnation, shame, guilt. Come out. Doctrinal obsession. Come out of there sectarianism, cultism, in churches, idolizing the pastor, come out, go in Jesus' name. Demons of religiosity, come out of there. Denominational spirits, doctrinal spirits, demons of false teaching, false gifts, false tongues, false ministry, false prophecy, come out of there. Leave now, go in the name of Jesus. I command you to manifest and go. Demons of perfection, perfectionism, always feel like you have to be perfect in every area. I command to leave now. I command the demons of self-deception and self-delusion and self-pity, self-destruction, come out. Demons operating in the self-life, come out of there. Self-destruction, self-delusion, self-pity, self-exaltation, selfishness that's connected to pride and rebellion, come out. I come against the strong man of pride. I command the demons of pride to go. The spirit of stubbornness, self-will, selfishness, vanity, pride, come out. Demons of accusation, accuser of the brother, accusing others. Demons of envy and jealousy, jealous of other people, envious of other people. Come out of there now. Go in Jesus' name. I command the demons of selfishness to come out, to go. I call you by your name. I come against all spirits of bitterness and the root of bitterness. That's right, go, leave now, leave now, leave now. The root of bitterness, bitterness, unforgiveness, anger, resentment, retaliation, murder, spite, revenge, come out of there. All demons operating under the root of bitterness, I call you out. I call you by your name. I come against paranoia. I command you to go in Jesus' name. 
I come against distrust, can't trust anybody, come out of there. Go now in Jesus' name. I call you out by your name and any spirit that I've not called out that's in any of these groups, I command you to go. I command you to leave in Jesus' name. Spirits of guile, lying, gossiping, backbiting, uh, spirits of slander come out of the tongue area. Spirits of profanity that would operate in the tongue come out the mouth, come out the tongue area. In Jesus' name, go now. Slander, profanity, backbiting, gossiping, strife, contention, division, arguing, fighting, fighting between husbands and wife, demons causing divorce and separation, demons that operate in marriages, marriage breaking spirits. Come out, leave now. Marital discord, disharmony. I break and I command to go fighting, arguing, contention, brawling. Get out, get out, leave now. In Jesus' name, I come against every spirit of the vagabond that would make you wander and go from place to place. You can't settle down anywhere. I command those vagabond spirits to leave. Spirits of wandering, gypsy spirits, get out of there. Go now, go now, in Jesus' name. I come against spirits of poverty, lack, demons that affect your finances, poverty, lack, unemployment, mishandling money, can't keep money, debt, always losing money, I command to go. It's the demons of failure that make you fail in everything you do, I command to go. I command demons from your past that will try to follow into your future. Failure from your past, shame of your past, uh, bad past, bad memories, demons, demons of memory recall and flashback that keep you locked into your past. I command those demons to manifest and to go and to come out now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, for setting your people free from these spirits and from these demon groupings. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I come against demons of blockage and obstruction, demons that block your praise, your worship, your prayer life, your word life, your study, demons of sleepiness tiredness, weariness, come out. Demons of insomnia, restlessness, can't sleep at night, evil dreams, demons of incubus and succubus, sexual spirits that attack you in sexual ways at night, demons of nightmares and mere spirits that attack you when you're sleeping, demons causing bad dreams and nightmares and fear in the night and fear in the dark, attacks at night, I command those demons that are affecting your sleep realm where you can't rest and you can't sleep. I command to go now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for what you're doing tonight through this mass deliverance. And as I call these spirits out, I command them to go. Thank you, Lord, that by faith, we're receiving our deliverance and we're being set free. We renounce the enemy. You cannot stay. You must go. You must leave now. I command get demons that are hiding. Demons that are hard to find, the needle in the haystack, get out of there. Any demon that's trying to hide, I pray that you'll be exposed. Any part of the body, any part of their life where you're hiding, I pull you out of your caves. I pull you out of your hiding places. I rebuke you. Even if even I didn't call your name, I command unknown spirits and hidden spirits, hidden rejection, hidden lust, hidden fear. Come out, hidden sickness, hidden disease. Hidden spirits, get out of there. Come out now in Jesus' name. Father, thank you, Father, for setting your people free tonight. Thank you, Lord, that as I pray, people are receiving miracles, breakthroughs, deliverances, peace and shalom, rest and joy is returning from your life. God is cleansing you. You're giving you the ability to walk in a stronger level of holiness and righteousness. Any spirit of torment, oppression, any demon that vexes you, harasses you, torments you. I come against anniversary spirits that come every certain time of the year, certain times of the year. They come back, especially during the holidays, during anniversaries, during the death of a loved one. I command those demons to go to, to leave and to come out of you in Jesus' name. I come against spirits of epilepsy 
deaf and dumb spirits, I command them to go. Come out, wherever you hide, the ears, the eyes, the nose, spirits causing allergies, hay fevers, sinus problems, come out the nose, the mouth, the stomach. I come against demons of addiction, addiction to nicotine, addiction to smoking, addiction to drugs, both legal and illegal, addiction to marijuana, cocaine, addiction spirits, alcohol spirits, come out of the, come out of the appetite, come out of the taste buds, come out of the mouth and the throat, leave now. All addiction spirits, go, go, go. Bondages, addiction to tobacco, addiction to food, gluttony, come out now. Gluttony overeating, come out now. I come against demons that cause excessive weight gain or demons that cause anorexia and nervosa, no, no no demons that cause you not to be able to gain weight or demons that cause you to become overweight. I, and, and bad habits and overeating or just physical problems. I command you to go, come out the stomach, come out the glands, come out the appetite, come out the navel area, come out of the organs of the body in Jesus name. Father, I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing tonight in this mass deliverance. We call you by your name, your group, your family, and you must obey and you must come out. Come out the hands, the feet, the stomach, the knees, the legs, the joints, the bones, the muscles, the organs of the body, the neck, the throat, the nose, the head, the ears, the eyes, the shoulders, the back, the spine, wherever you're hiding, you go. You leave now. You leave now. You leave now in Jesus' name. Father, we give you praise and glory. Again, take a deep breath. And just exhale slowly. I come anything that's been stirred up that's trying to hold on to come out. Come out of the stomach, the chest, the lungs. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Go, go. You can't stay. You've been called out. You've been exposed. And by the authority of the name of Jesus, the power of God and the blood of Jesus, we rebuke you and command you to leave now and to come out now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I just, if you can, just begin to lift your hands and thank God. Uh, some of you will still be getting deliverance after the broadcast. It's okay. Things will still be coming out. Just let them go. But just stay in an atmosphere of praise and worship and glory, thanking God for what he's done. And I pray now, Lord, that they'll be able to keep their deliverance, maintain their deliverance, that you'll walk in the word, that you'll walk in the spirit, that you'll not walk in the flesh, that you'll walk in holiness that you repent from any sin, that you'll get in a strong Bible-believing church, that you'll hear the word, that you'll walk in the word, that you'll walk in love and forgiveness and tenderness and kindness all the days of your life, that you're praising, that you'll worship, you do the things that make you a strong believer. The enemy will not be able to come back and gain any control, but let every area of your life that has been dispossessed and the enemy has been cast out, let it be filled up with the spirit of God and let it come under the rule and authority of heaven by the spirit of God and let you walk in submission to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and flee from you. Father, I thank you for humility, for grace, for prayer, for love, for holiness, for morality, for integrity, for kindness and mercy and grace and wisdom to prevail in their life the spirit of holiness, the spirit of godliness and purity, let it manifest in their life, Father, and let them walk free from any contamination of the enemy in months and even years to come. I pray for you to be anointed, to minister deliverance, and to do the same thing that I'm doing, simply to call demons out of people that ask you to help them and pray for them, to grow in knowledge. And again, don't forget, you want to learn more about this. I've been doing this for 30 years now. I've seen thousands of people delivered around the world. And on this book, Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual, is a book that I've written, very comprehensive on deliverance, destroying the spirit of rejection. Another book that I've re written, a must to understand the devastation of rejection. And this book, Break Every Chain, 25 Strongholds and How to Defeat Them. Amen, amen, amen. Well, there's also a book that you can order called Demon Hit List. I believe that is, if I'm mistaken, on, on 
either Christian Books or Amazon.com. Demon Hit List has a listing of all the demons that we've covered tonight. And there are also different listings in these books as well. But there's one called Demon Hit List. I don't have that with me here, but I'll take advantage of that as well. I bless you. I speak grace, favor, peace, prosperity, shalom over your life. Healing. I pray for your body to be healed, your emotions to be healed, for inner healing to come, for wounded hearts and spirits to be mended and, and healed. I pray for physical healing to come through deliverance, supernatural miracles in your blood, your bones, your muscles, your joints, your organs. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, give us some testimonies of how you enjoyed this tonight. It wasn't really wasn't for you to enjoy. It's really to help you and minister to you. That's really our desire in Impact University. We have a school of deliverance. So if you've never joined Impact University, we'll give you a chance to do that as well. If not tonight, in the future, shortly, where we have a school of deliverance where I teach on the different areas of deliverance. And many of you have taken that school um, it's something that we all need to know. Unfortunately, this is not taught in a lot of churches, but there are a lot of churches that are teaching this and it's necessary for you to, to know. The scripture says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. Be knowledgeable, keep growing, and keep moving in God. I pray in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Okay, Rodrigo, I think I'm finished. Yes, that was great. I do want to rem uh, remind everyone to also get a copy of Unshakable. This is a oh, great, yes. great Thank book. Thank you so much. Yes. yes. Yeah, double mindedness is one of the biggest things that will cause people into bad decision making. And I do want to uh, just let you know that tonight, if you're on Facebook, you can type the word discern me or um, a man, and we'll send you the, the link directly. In the month of October, we're going to be doing something special for one day. It'll be a compilation of three different sessions. There'll be replays available. Uh, but we wanted to give you the opportunity to register for it tonight. I'm putting up the flyer now. It's called Discerning of Spirits Workshop. And it's just a one-day one event. Um, and you can go to impactuclass.com to register for it. It's a small charge of $20 for the day. And if you register tonight, we actually did a Discerning of Spirits uh, challenge a few years ago. You'll get over five hours of teaching and revelation from this uh, specific workshop. And I think it'll really bless you. Discerning of spirits is one of the most vital gifts uh, that you can have. Uh, discerning of spirits will prevent you from making wrong choices, from being uh, coupled up with wrong people because perhaps their motives, their thinking, their uh, the ways of life and how they do things in their life is not the way that it should be done. But if you have a word of discerning of spirits about that person, it can really help you from even losing a ton of different finances and just being partnered up with the wrong person or even prevent you from flowing. And I really believe that discerning of spirits is one of the most misunderstood gifts in the church outside of the prophet's job, because I believe that oftentimes those who have the gift of discerning of spirits are oftentimes misunderstood uh, because we they see what nobody else sees. They say, well, you're too harsh. You're just too strong. Uh, perhaps you're always um, seeing what everybody else is trying to ignore. But the way that you see it is really clear and is almost aggravating and vexing because everybody else is talking to the person that is carrying the wrong motives. And you're the one who has to stand up and say that there is something wrong. Well, I really want to encourage you to go to Impact U Class because we're going to spend the entire day talking about this. Again, it's a small uh, registration fee. And again, if you're on Facebook, you can comment the word discern um, or the word me, and we'll directly send this uh, via an automation system that we have. So you'll receive that tonight. And I do want to encourage you to go this. I mean, it's a five hour bonus uh, sessions that you'll receive and you'll be able to get them and really uh, get an impartation. We have sessions with Jennifer Ivis, Travis Jennings, um, and other people that are part uh, of our Apostle Circle. So I do want to encourage you to go, Apostle. Now, you did a challenge on discerning of spirits a couple of years ago. I don't know if you remember that. Is there anything that you want to add to this? Well, it's one of the it's one of the gifts that is not talked much about. We talk a lot about prophecy, maybe tongues, healing, miracles, but discerning of spirits is an area that often is not taught very much in the church. And it's one of the most important gifts we can operate in because it'll, it'll save you a lot of trouble when you have discernment and 
and discerning of spirits, uh, to discern human spirits, demon spirits, angelic spirits, the spirits operating behind a situation. You see beyond what the natural eye sees, and uh, that is a very powerful, powerful gift that the church really needs to understand more. So I recommend that, uh, and, and it was one of our best uh, presentations. We had uh, quite a number of people that joined us for that series that we did on discerning of spirits because people are interested in that because it's not often talked about very much. So I recommend right. and encourage people to take advantage of that. Yeah, you know, I never realized that until yet, uh, we were setting this up. We had over 150,000 people watch that challenge when we did it because when we added up all the sessions, we had 52,000 people in one video, 37,000. And it was amazing the amount of people that joined. So we're going to spend uh, quite a bit of time on that day just really explaining everything about discerning the spirits, the, in the if you want to call it the technology of the gift, to really understand more about it. So again, go to impactuclass.com and we'll make this available for you. It'll be a tremendous impartation uh, for you. And perhaps you're unsure, do, you, do I have the gift? Do I not have the gift? So it, maybe it'll bring some clarity. It's a small investment into your uh, spiritual journey. So we want to encourage you to go there. Well, in closing, we're excited. Uh, and of course, all of those who are you from Impact University, thank you so much for joining. And tomorrow night, we'll be with you again. For those who are part of the Fivefold Academy workshop that we're doing, it's almost that we, we've had a phenomenal time and we're growing every week. Uh, we've done uh, some quizzes inside. We'll, we'll let you know more about that in the future for those who haven't registered. Uh, so thank you so much for being a part tonight. We had over 3,000 people who were live with us. So we're so encouraged uh, by, by by what you're spending time with us and receiving some freedom. Um, anything in closing, Apostle? I'm done. No, thank you, Rodrigo, for doing an excellent job with Impact University. I encourage everyone. Impact is touching so many people, so many teachings we have now in these different areas, deliverance, the prophetic. Um, prayer, worship. It, it's really amazing. The gifts of the spirit. And we're developing some more. So we're looking forward to continue to expand and really do things online that are not common. You don't find mass deliverance very common um, on online like this. So thank you so much. Excuse me for what you're doing. And I'm, I enjoyed tonight. Hopefully we'll do more of this in the days to come and really try to get as many people free as we can. God bless you and thank you.